after Saddle Lake Cree Nation in Alberta released its preliminary findings this week, including suspected causes of death of some of an estimated 400 children who didn't survive, the lead investigator reacted to the $2.8 billion residential school class action settlement. The monies will never be able to, uh, according to our elders, repay the uh, uh, cultural uh, language and uh, if I may say, uh, spiritual losses. I'm very honored to be able to live to see this day. Shane Gottfriedson has been involved in this case as a representative plaintiff Wait, for 15 what? years. He says the agreement marks yes. Canada's first class action settlement for collective damages based on shared rights to Indigenous language and culture. And then 10 days before our trial was to start, Canada offered to settle. So today we are representing 325 Indigenous nations across Canada and have developed a settlement plan to allow for the nations to work towards the four pillars. Those four pillars of the $2.8 billion agreement are revitalization of language, culture, wellness for people and heritage commemoration. Possibly uh, a full immersion school, uh, you know, teaching the language for our kids. For Upper Nicola Band Chief and residential school survivor Harvey McLeod, the money will bolster and speed up existing language and culture programs in his community. He says the focus will be on children. Ceremonies like a uh, uh, horse clinic for six to eight year olds, how to take care of a horse, fishing, hunting, um, gathering medicines, and just getting out on the land and finding out what this land is all about. He says it shows Ottawa's commitment to making amends, but Indigenous legal scholar Rachel Snow, who was not involved in the case, has a different perspective. I don't feel it goes far enough at all because um, if you look at the uh, level of dysfunction and harm and hurt in our communities, um, it's this is this is generations in the making. It's going to be generations in the the healing or fixing. Crown Indigenous Relations Minister Mark Miller said the trust fund will operate for 20 years and run independent of the federal government if the court approves the deal next month. Neetu Garcha, Global News, Vancouver.